Hi, it's me again, Akshu. I am back with the transition tutorial. Without further ado, let's get started. Well, you need to know when you make the transition between clips, it should be seamless and smooth. And to get that seamless transition, you need to understand that if you zoomed in the end of a clip, then in the start, in the second clip, it should be out, then start get in. I know it looks hard a little, but I will try to explain it more. Now, when we make transition in After Effects, we will use three basic things, which is scale, rotation, position. Let's start with scale zoom in out. When we put the value of scale in the end of clip from the main value, which is 100 to higher value, like 300, the clip will zoom in and to be seamless. With the next clip, we have we should put the opposite value, like from lower value of scale to the main value, 100. And by doing that, we got that seamless transition. And one other thing, when you want to know what transition you should do if you zoom in or out, you should look to your clip first. Like we got here in this clip, if the character is close to the camera than getting far, then you should do the scale value from higher value like 300 to the main value 100. And if you did the opposite, your transition will look bad, because it's not symmetrical. And the opposite also if the character is far from the camera and he is getting close, you should put lower scale value like 40 to the main value 100 or more. And now I'll show how to make transition like, and the graphs I use and values so you can understand more. We'll get your clips and match them with a null. If you don't know what's a null, you can go watch basic first, and now copy my value and graph, and see how I make my transition. I will also leave the project file if you want to check it. After finishing the transition, don't forget to put motion tile, and you can add our position shake or my position shake from last tutorial and also add turbulent. Now that's how it looks. And you can do position transition with scale like this. Follow me. And here when put the motion of position goes on left and up in the first clip, the next clip should be the opposite, which is comes from the right and down. And that's all what I have to show. I know it's not what you expected, but I don't want to explain more. Since there's a lot of tutorial in YouTube, you see in this video how transition works, and how I make mine. If you want more advanced transition, I will leave a playlist of tutorials can help you. Thanks for watching.